welcome to preline today we are going to discuss about sentiment analysis using lstm sentiment analysis we are able to read the content based upon the content you will analyze the text either it's a positive or negative sentiment suppose you have a collection of email message from users of your product or service you don't have to time to read entire message so you want to programmatically determine if the tone of each message is positive or negative maybe neutral so with the help of uh, keras deep learning we are able to analyze either your users or you are providing the service by the comments you will understand how about your users or users feedback either it's a good or bad or neutral those kind those kind of logics can be written in python so here i have used this uh, these libraries so numpy pandas skykit learn and keras and google colab drive so i am having my files in google drive so that's why i have used google colab drive so initially i have to mount the drive so with the help of this command you are able to access the google colab files which is your uh, specific location so i am able to read my csv file using pandas i am just taking up two columns one is text another one is sentiment you have to remove all the other columns which are not used in that csv file because the data while picking with the columns it may confuse so these are the heads i am i am using text and what is the sentiment for this text so this is the example i would have responded if i were going it may be neutral and my boss is what what interview leave me alone it's a negative so i am i am just assigning positive and negative so i am just omitting the neutral because i need either positive or negative value alone i am just uh, converting or uh, removing unwanted quotes in the text so it may have this much of positive and negative values the tokenizer with the help of tokenizer we are able to vectorize our content so our content it converts into vector form this this is the keras libraries with the help of sequential it's initializing the keras model and i am adding the embed embedding logic over here the maximum features how much i am i am using 2000 and what is the shape of that everything has been assigned here here i am using dropout 0.4 and lstm model sorry lstm layer and what is the dropout over there and uh, this is the fine final output how many output you want it has been mentioned in the dens so dens shows that only two either it's a, a positive or negative those kind of logics has been mentioned in the dens and finally compile compile i'm using that categorical cross entropy so some people may use binary for this but in my scenario i'm using that categorical cross entropy and using the adam optimizer i'm checking with the accuracy so this is the model which i have used i'm converting those values into train and test so this is the this is the shape of that train and test values so how many uh, text and how many uh, sentiment has been mentioned here so this is the batch size i am fitting my model and uh, training my model with the with the help of train epochs mentioned here is a 7 and batch size is 32 and this is the my epoch it has executed properly i just mentioned seven epoch because uh, i don't want to use more ram memory here with with the help of seven epoch i am able to get that accuracy of 0.94 and then finally i am giving some random text it tokenizes and so whatever the value we have given it converts and give, give it gives to the model predict the and i am checking with the sentiment either that sentiment goes to 0 or 1 so based upon the value it prints that negative and positive values so this is very simple way you can use google colab to 
run the deep learning concepts. We don't want to invest any money for getting the GPU machine. This collab is fine to run this kind of uh, deep learning concepts. And this is my medium blog. I have mentioned everything as I have explained earlier. Everything is here. So please like and follow me. Thank you.